Hill, welcome back to Life of Strange, this is part 3, hopefully we can just finish it off, it's hot as fuck outside, like literally hot as fuck, I was sweating, it's like 80 something degrees, I don't know, like, I guess it's probably just hotter in my house, but who cares, let's finish where we left off, for a second I thought I like, you know, left my PC unplugged, but then again, if it was unplugged, it wouldn't be on right now. Here, let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. It's over here. Nowhere I can go. Rig. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Is this in a dark room? Oh, wait, this is where he does the bond. Hey, check out this old chest. The bondage. A little bondage. Oh, Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. My scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Okay, so let's look at the desktop. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. This tractor has paid its dues. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. I won't last you two seconds. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. Saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Wait, isn't there a way for me to get upstairs? Damn, lots of info here. So many haystacks, so many haystacks, so few needles. Ah, the good old days. Just rotting wood. That's what you think. (sighs) 
nothing here. There's gotta be more. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. A self portrait. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Supermax, you can't open this with your bare hands. But I know what can. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know. Damn, those pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. Pretty sure this old pitchfork won't open a padlock. Try again, Max. Boring. Ah, the good old days. This tractor has paid its dues. Dig having minions. Let's see. Okay, this is oh, not much to go. So we use that. <laughs> what the? Is this like a pulley system? That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Here's the other end of the rope. Okay, be careful. Is that an owl? Hold on. 
But I won't see these photos in law then in here, and then I'll go to jail. <laughs> Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Cheers about it. It's gotta be something else I can do. Wait, this could probably work. I use that hook. How will I get it down? Please be careful up there, Max. Don't tell me I don't have my life to the police. Hey, Chloe. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Maybe that thing that you climbed on. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. to say how weird this is. He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. All right, come on, let's go. I'm excited to see if I'm right. This bunker is so surreal. Another code again? This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Why am I even looking at that when we're past that? Wow, well, sir. Talk about home on the range. I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. Oh, 
think, think. Oops, bad code. Warren could have seen that physics trick. Okay, we gotta figure this out because I'm getting restless. Okay, so I definitely can't get to that that way. Is it possible? Nope. What code could it be? It's gotta be something that can tell me, man. Anything at all. It's definitely not that photo. Even I'm looking wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. This tractor has paid its dues. What is so significant? What number would it be? This game gets harder and harder by the second. I don't even remember having a difficulty. Watson? We can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. What could it be? for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Don't lock yourself in there. More survivalist supplies. All right. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Talk tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Uh oh. 
Uh-oh. Ah, oh, crap. I told you guys. I, I guess told Nathan you needs it. the most expensive printer in the world. The dark room where they print photos. This is like Prescott's in creepy art. It's not the Prescott. It's Nathan. Talk about tortured. No, oh, Nathan, there's a Prescott, but you know what I fucking mean. Jesus. Oh, that son of a bitch. Rachel's file should be in here. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Let's see what's in here. What the flying? Oh my God. No. He tried to do the same to Chloe. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, I swear to God. If I could find a way to get in this game, I would beat the shit out of you. Like, I'm into bondage, but that, it's, it's, no, you can't do something without the other person's consent. It's disgusting. He has pictures of Rachel, too. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. Are you we are. This anger. Okay. Me. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Uh, take those with you so you can have proof to the cops? Take it. Oh my god. Rachel. This picture is framed different. Rachel is passed out and she, this shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Can we please take these? Are you kidding me? Oh shit. That's Nathan's jacket. Has he been here recently? Okay, this is not good. Okay, uh, uh, I need to see everything. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. I will never forgive you, Nathan. So who's using this fancy tripod? These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody likes their whiskey. Needles. Gross. Is there a way I can take a photo of this? Man, like, you can't, like, don't be like those people in movies when you just see everything that you can use as a weapon and just leave it behind like a fucking idiot. This is really fucking retarded. I have to leave all that there. You have a bag. For a second, I got. I thought I got locked in. Shut the fuck up, computer. I feel like he's gonna be here. Please. 
top. Look. Please, no. Oh. Oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh, oh, Rachel, no, no. Please, not her. Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? Don't make me answer that. I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. different. What is that? that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Bumps.
damn it. Uh, hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart. Oh, we don't have time for this. Bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope That's everything horrible. turns out your way in the end. Blah, 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 Thank blah, you, Max. Blah, blah, blah. I really appreciate yeah. that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Oh, um, for no, I'm sakes. actually Just not okay. conversation. I'm, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, let me enter. But why is the frame rate dropping? are partying, partying and they don't even know that the world's about to end. Okay, yes, lights, wow, lights, people naked, wow, shit, this is, wow, this is like amazing, can we get on with it so I can find Chloe so he doesn't do anything stupid and kill someone before we make him suffer? Finally, I'm controlling myself, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. We need to find Nathan and take him down. Maybe I can ask the bartender. No, I'm not drinking shit, Courtney. Who the fuck is Courtney? I'm not gonna worry about that now. You don't even got a blazer on you, piece of shit. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Courtney's over there. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Get sick now. 
I can drink more later. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame brave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. He looks just like my brother. Oh, yes, this party sucks. But what? Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore text club. <laughs> Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Oh my god. Spread the word. Max, I know oh, I'm this is fucking take. Your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds Chill. different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh no, I'm I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Just like my brother. You sound exactly like my brother. Okay, let's see. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh. Would you rather not get electrocuted? <laughs> Trevor and his skater friends. 
No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Okay. Thanks. The boy cannot dance though. <sighs> Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? She won't listen to you. But fuck it. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Yeah, you didn't really have to say that, Max. Try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect. Okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? bitch to me when I got hit with that paint and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him and stick close to your friends tonight. Okay, I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Did you even go in? Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Dare you? Chloe, Nathan isn't here. 
Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know oh, why. Him. But he's kind of suspicious. This afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I don't know why, but he's kind of suspicious to me. For some reason, he... I don't know, I'm getting a bad vibe. Maybe I'm wrong. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. If he says Nathan, I swear to God. I appreciate it. If he says Nathan, I swear to God, I would, like, turn this game off. I'm not lying. I, I probably wouldn't. I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh, okay, I'm good. that brought me to Blackwell and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Big surprise. I can't believe she blacked out Jefferson. Yes, I can. Don't worry about it. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want you to lose punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. It doesn't matter if she blackmailed her or not. Who gives a shit? Okay. What if we find Warren on the floor? Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. God damn it, man. This is why you don't leave shit like that. I told you to take it, man. Fucking people. Stop acting like this is a move. What the fuck? Is that the moon? Oh. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. My arms killed me. Okay, so I'm gonna walk backwards because you know people like to sneak up on on all right. Yep. Ooh, what's this? Chinkies. Oh, I hate this place. You know you like this place. Crap, where did Chloe go? Ah, oh, shit. We're getting the heebus jeebus. Huh? Where did you go? Don't leave me, Chloe. I don't like the dark. I don't like the dark. What, what was that? What was that? I'm sorry, Rachel. 
That was my fridge. My fridge made a noise. Yo, I swear my fridge is bugging out making ice. <laughs> so just stop. Fucked up is about to happen, and I still have the heebus jeebus. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. Max, please hurry. Oh, God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Mr. Jefferson, I fucking knew it. I told you I had my suspicions. You son of a bitch, I fucking told you I had my suspicions. Oh my god. Please let me skip this. Blah. Am I in a dark room now? I don't even know how to feel about that. Killing my best friend. It just makes me think, you know, like, there are guys like this, not even just guys, people that are just this disturbed, this crazy, this insane. They're truly disgusting. They disgust me. Okay, mostly men, mostly men. And it's, uh, it's watching, you see it in Law and Order and all that shit. It's just people disgust the shit out of me and, like, it uh, pisses me off. It's like. It's like I want to wipe those people off the face of the planet, but then I'll just be just like them. It's like people want don't want you to stoop down to their level because you'll be like a killer. You're just supposed to let them do bad things to you and get over it. That's what the world wants you to do. It's, it's fucking bullshit. Justice. <sighs> yeah, right. Guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.